ready. You ready, sir? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with Bob Bozer, he understood the ground and challenge he was up against. And he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Close guard. Nice job keeping busy fighting off of his back. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. And he caught the kick. Oh, there you go. Yep. from the bottom lands to the head. Nice hammer fist. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Nermago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he's sort of totaled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Agomenov gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, nice trip to change the level. Blocks that kick to the body. That knee. That knee hurt him. For a fact, those are doing real damage. Try to establish that jab. While you get up, you go down as another takedown attempt lands. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nermago Meta. Solid strike on the ground. One minute now to go around one. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gets the elbow up into the target. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. 
he's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, wow! Head kick. So a strong five minutes down. Second round here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Starting to do some really significant damage to hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Nermago Medov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Lands a big elbow there. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in this second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big e land. And they separate. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, Agomedo gets hit with that elbow. You don't want to take too many more of those. Under two minutes now in round two. And he's back up again. So the take. All right, so we're in the clinch. Not anymore. Beautiful trick to get this fight to the ground, DC. No effort, John. No effort. When you do it right, it takes no effort. And this young man just did it right. Throws guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Five seconds now to go in the round. 
off the ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Ten seconds remain in round two. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Nice head kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, there he is. Magomedov gets the takedown. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, he's got his back. He start lifting him in the air to try to finish this takedown. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And they both stand up. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, big knee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go now. Take down. So now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Push, push, push. Get free. Under three minutes remain in round three. Close guard. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nermago Medovs has got full mount now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Elbow by Nermago Medov. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, beautiful takedown by him, and this might just be a matter of time. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. 
in the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the armbar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. <laughs> Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. in a single collar tie. Oh, big knee there. Oh! Just misses there with the left. And now is secured back position. All right, single collar tie now. Huge knee land. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. He's having his way with him here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. 